Good morning, Chargers. I'm Aston Smith bringing you today's Thursday announcements. Starting it off with some on-campus news, club day is today. Come to the Greek at lunch to check out all the clubs our school has to offer. Moving on to sports, girls volleyball traveled down to Ventura yesterday and unfortunately was not able to come out with the win, losing 3-0. But we will get another chance to play them in a few weeks at home. Girls Golf went north to Lompoc and played a tough game on a tough course, but was not able to come out with the win, losing 292 to 286. However, Victoria Chen was able to claim medalist honors with a score of 43. Last week, myself, along with Ethan Perez, Trevor Cuevas, and Josh Conheim, traveled down to Ojai to cover our football team's first away game of the season. Here's the story now. I'm here in Ojai where the Chargers are taking off Nordoff. Last year, we beat them in a 41-7 dominant showing, and today, we'll be looking to build off that strong performance. Senior quarterback Ryan Marsh had a great performance last week, where he had a really good game with efficiencies and a great turnover to touchdown ratio. We also had really good connections with his receivers, and today, he'll be building off of that. Right, Micah, I'm excited. I think it's going to be a big win tonight, 2-0, uh, and I um, feel like we're bringing the Charger Express back. The Chargers started off the game a little slow. Then, on a run to the left side of the field, quarterback Ryan Marsh got hit and he was now out for the game with a knee injury. Despite this setback, running backs Caleb Williams and Danny Vidare were able to help push them down the field and score a touchdown. Alrighty, it's halftime. The Rangers are up 14-7 over the Chargers. However, for the Chargers, the run game has worked very well over the course of the game. Running backs Denny Vidare and Caleb Williams have had some great runs over the game, and Caleb Williams is having a stellar performance. In the second half, the Chargers went to work with Pestilum, which was running the ball. The Rangers started off the second half with a field goal, and the Chargers would fall to a 17-7 deficit. Despite this, the Chargers came back, scoring three unanswered rushing touchdowns, one by Williams and the other two by Vidare. In the final minute, the Rangers were able to bring it within one score at 28-25. However, the Chargers recovered the onside kick attempt and were able to win the game over the Rangers. The Chargers are now 2-0 and play this Friday at Buena.